StarCast 5, presented by CarShield, July 29th to 31st in Nashville, Tennessee at the Nashville Fairgrounds. Loaded with stage shows including Renee Paquette's Sessions with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, Soraya, Turning the Page, The Horsemen reunite on stage for one last ride, and Bret Hart's look back at 30 years later on his SummerSlam Classic. And of course, StarCast will be capped off by Ric Flair's Last Match. Follow the story leading up to the last match over at RicFlair'sLastMatch.com. Tickets and information available at StarCast.com. Here's Lex Luger talking about anabolic steroids. He sure did. Gosh. That's the way Vince announced it, too. Here is Lex Luger talking about <laughs> anabolic steroids. <laughs> so the graphic comes up, drugs in sports. And Lex says, Lex says there was a, he was a pro athlete. There's lots of temptation out there, making a lot of money at a very young age. He never had a drug problem, but he did a lot of experimentation. That's not a problem. <laughs> Do a little I mean, meth here and there, <laughs> some weed and some mushrooms. I'd be surprised if you did that. It's not an addiction. It's just here and there. Yeah. Uh, so the next graphic reads, anabolic steroids. So all this, this these, all these interview packages, you never hear the question. You just see Lex talking the whole time until right at this exact point when you very clearly hear Vincent Kennedy McMahon ask, Lex Luger. Are you taking steroids? And Lex says, absolutely, emphatically no. I know steroids are very prevalent in pro sports, but they're not a part of the World Wrestling Federation. Hmm. It's true, he says. Actually, at that point, he, he largely was correct. It's uh, Before they became illegal, he clarifies, yes, I used them, but I never abused them. But it's better now. To know I can look good if I eat well and train right. And it's a message to send to the kids. You can have a great physique and great build without using anabolic steroids. And that's a great feeling. You know, that is a great feeling. Mm. That's a great feeling to know oh. that I can look like this without anabolic steroids. I wake up in the morning and I think, what a beautiful day. I feel really good today. Why? Because I can look like this without anabolic steroids. Every day I wake up and I think those words in my head. Bam Bam Bigelow versus Rich Myers. Here's another big guy. Mm -hmm. And you know the most impressive spot to me in this entire match? What was the other guy's name? Rich Myers. Rich Myers. Rich Myers puts Bam Bam Bigelow in a headlock. And, uh, and Bam Bam Bigelow grabs his dude around the waist, okay? Yes. Now listen. You all know what happened in 2022. If a guy put Bam Bam in a headlock and Bam Bam or anyone grabbed them around the waist, you know it's exactly what happened. They're going to go like this, and they're going to fucking dump them on their head, right? We've seen it a million times. The big mm -hmm. exploder, they land on their fucking head every time. Bam Bam Bigelow grabs this guy by the waist, and he fucking lifts this dude in the air, and he lifts this guy so high that the guy almost starts to, like, fall backwards. Yes. But Bam Bam is strong. And he holds him up there. And this fucking guy looks like he's 30 feet in the air. And his feet, like he's not just like with his, his legs like this, but he's stretched out. So his feet yes. are even, it's almost like a suplex. He's all he's, the way up in the air and he's upside down. He's like pointing his toes. He's so high in the fucking air. And then Bam Bam just drops him flat on his fucking back. The most perfect, yep. simple, easy bump to take in the entire world. And it looked so awesome. And I, and then later he does a vertical suplex. Although on that one, he just let oh. go of the guy. He didn't go down with him. So the guy almost did a uh, Matt Jackson and hurt his neck. He landed on his tailbone. But that man, was right I was just ass. watching that and I thought, dude, I've seen so many people land on their heads and their necks. There's been so much neck surgery. And, you know, I don't think Matt Jackson's ever had neck surgery, but he has stinger. His neck's probably fucked up. And, you know, Kenny Omega's neck and, and you know, all of these guys, just the walking wounded. And here, it was like the, the greatest back suplex I ever saw, and it was totally safe. So I was very impressed with that. The vertical suplex was something because he goes to give Rich Myers the suplex, and he almost overshoots his target in that he throws him up for a vertical suplex and wants to hold him up, but he throws him up so fast and violently, he almost loses him. Mm -hmm. And he's all, actually, he's not holding him straight up. He's holding Myers up behind Bam Bam's own head a little bit. 
And they just dropped him onto his ass. Uh, the other thing I got, got out of this is that Rich Myers here was wearing the same black singlet, blue tights, white boots look that uh, Shoulders Torelli had before he became before he got rich and became Vinny V. Uh, bam, bam, more with a headbutt. Bobby Heenan in this match went on and on about Luna Vachon. He says, her eyes, her lips, her scalp. She does have a great scalp. Probably moisturizes. Hey, as far as scalps go, I mean. Rusty. Yeah. Rusty Rose, ten four eighty six. <laughs> dusty, is it rusty or dusty? <laughs> it's uh, it's dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> okay, out of ring. Her, and, Herman and Blanchett. <laughs> Harlan. <laughs> way back then, they had cha- chain barricades, <laughs> and then they had a tag team with Rich Fl- uh, Rick Flair and some more guys. And so that was that. I'm just too Who who did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.